What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo, and we're here with week four of the Indigo League of Legends. Thank you so much for bearing with me. A little bit behind on recording, if only because uh, work. Work is a major factor here, actually. But this week, four, uh, this is last week. So going up against Master Roshi, one of our most intense nemeses slash rivals slash guy who beats us. Ah, so hard to prepare for his team. <laughs> but you do know at least with Master Roshi and I, we have this this back and forth going on. I win one, he wins two. I win one, he wins. So I definitely had it in me to beat him this time. Uh, team prepped a lot. Bred all new such for this battle. We have a very defensive Mega Venus World. I managed to get a Hidden Power Fire one as well. Bold max defense. Uh, likely um, went with bold max defense on my Vaporeon as well because the Darmanitan was a very serious threat. Uh, I actually didn't go with um, Protect Wish. I had Wish Heal Bell Ice Beam Scald on my Vaporeon. Life Orb Tornadus with four attacks, enough physical attack to 2 KO Chansey with Superpower. Um, a nice offensive Zapdos because he didn't really have any switch for Zapdos uh, straight up. Um, very, very interesting Scarf Metacham here. I wanted to force him to guess what Mega I brought because Sun Venusaur is very, very viable against this team. And I had a Custat Berry for, uh, Fortress just because I thought I would have an opportunity to set up some entry hazards and then use a Custap Explosion or maybe even a Custap Gyro Ball if he decided to bring Clefable, which he didn't, thank goodness. Um, but yeah, just Darmanitan is hard to prepare for when you don't have any solid switch ins for it. My best all around switch in is Vaporeon, but uh, even Vaporeon is too KO'd by the Banded Darmanitan, so I was actually really hoping that he would be running Banded, because Banded, while it is, it gets some really nice, nice damage against my team. Uh, it does lose the speed, and so I have several things out of speed Banded Darmanitan. Um, but we're just going to start out with Venusaur because I really wanted to get the Mega Evolution going immediately. I would need the defensive power. Uh, he does start off with Darmanitan, which is a gigantic red flag that it's scarfed. I just clicked Synthesis on the first turn because I figured even if he went for Flare Blitz right away, uh, worst case scenario, Zen Headbutt, I could get that HP back, hopefully not get burned or flinched. He does go for Zen Headbutt, I don't get flinched. And seeing that damage, we indeed have a confirmation on the Scarf because if he were Life Orb, that would have been a clean 2 hit KO uh, if he were Life Orbed. But he's not, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to put some very, very crucial damage onto Darmanitan now with the Sludge Bomb. Uh, I, it does look like a roll whether or not he can 2 hit, two hit KO me. Um, and plus he's locked in the Zen Headbutt and I have some switch ins for that. Uh, so I just went for Sludge Bomb there. I was very close to clicking Hidden Power Fire, predicting the Caesar. But I went out to Fortress in case he just decided to try to go for the damage on my Venusaur. Um, unfortunately, before the match, I actually deleted Counter and put on um, Gyro Ball, which was a mistake. If I had Counter, that would have really put me in a nice position here. But alas, it is not to be. I don't have any switch-ins for Mega Caesar besides my Zapdos, but I do want to bring in Zapdos very, very healthy. So um, I have to force Fortress to take this hit. And I'm just going to keep on going for entry hazards because if, even if Blastoise comes in to spin them away, uh, Blastoise is taking all that entry hazard damage. And that's a free turn that I get a chance to hopefully use some offensive move. Uh, is the idea there. So uh, go out to Zapdos here just because I know even if he has plus four max attack adamant bullet punch, not going to KO me. Uh, and I am an offensive Zapdos, but I put on enough. Uh, I only had enough speed out speed non scarf Darmanitan, so I have a little bit of H HP. Uh, we are not going to mess around with the uh, Caesar. I figured he would probably switch, but in case he wanted to get a little bit creative there with predicting my moves, I just went straight for Heat Wave. Chansey comes in, and I am really dumb here going out into my Tornadus. I thought he would soft boiled. Soft boiled definitely seemed like the optimal play for him, but his Thunder Wave nails my Tornadus, which sucks because now he gets a free opportunity to spin my hazards away. Uh, and that's just terrible all around. I, I thought he might switch out there, but I again, I was thinking, okay, he's gonna wanna um, soft boiled. So I just go straight for Superpower as Blastoise comes in. And yes, I have Grass Knot for Blastoise and Mammal Swine, but the biggest loss here is losing my entry hazards, and I don't have uh, Fortress to set them back up, rather. Uh, but that's okay, Blastoise is down, which is nice there. Um, 
chance he's gonna come back in and since we don't have anything to hit him with because I already have minus one attack I'm gonna go out into Vaporeon here I could have also gone out into um, Wow, I could have gone back into Zapdos to try to Volt Switch around. I was very afraid of something else getting paralyzed. We do cure the paralysis right here. Um, I also could have gone for a Wish or a Fish for a Scald Burn, but I just wanted to have Torn uh, Tornadus in the back as kind of a speedy attacker. Um, he does go for Thunder Wave here. I'm very happy I stayed, and I was thinking of switching out to try to pass the Wish, but uh, since Vaporeon doesn't have any speed investment, I'm okay with it being paralyzed. Um, I was thinking of going for Scald, just trying to fish for a burn, but here at least I get the opportunity to pass the Wish out to Venusaur, which is pretty nice overall, especially coming in on Stealth Rock damage. Um, I do have Hidden Power Fire and not Ice, so touching Solomon's relegates me to my Sludge Bomb, which Caesar and Chansey can come in on all day. I was hoping for Poison right there, 30% chance. How come you always see that with uh, Scald with the burn, but you hardly ever see it with Sludge Bomb and Poison? Same percent chance that it happens. Who knows, Pokemon is just that type of game. Uh, he does go out into Caesar right here as I went out into Zapdos thinking he would try to paralyze me. Um, and here I thought he would go back to Chansey so I went for Volt Switch, but Mamoswine comes in for free. I think that that was a little bit of risk on his part because uh, two Heat Waves would have put his Mamoswine in range for um, a variety of attacks actually, everything from Giga Drain from my Venusaur to Scald from Vaporeon. Uh, here he predicts my Roost amazingly. I thought his optimal play there was going for Icicle Crash because if I went out into Venusaur or Vaporeon, um, Vaporeon of course doesn't really care about any of Mamoswine's attack, but I thought for sure he would go for Icicle Crash uh, and I didn't want a Venusaur to take that hit unnecessarily. So uh, now that I know that he's not Scarf, at least I can go out into my Metacham, drop a high jump kick, which is fantastic damage against Caesar, who is no slouch in the defensive department, mind you. Um, but I am forced to switch out a lot more than I really want to here. Uh, Bullet Punch doesn't kill Mega Metacham, but I was afraid that he would uh, use the opportunity to switch out. So I went out to Venusaur for basically no reason other than to take extra damage. And then here, once again, I was like, okay, he's gotta switch now. And so I go down to Tornadus trying to catch Chansey coming in, and he just bullet punches that in the face too. So I'm doing all this unnecessary switching, taking Stealth Rocks, everything's getting hit, and this is the nail in the coffin here, because Vaporeon could have taken Caesar's hits very easily, but he critical hits it as he knocks out the leftovers, and now I can no longer really switch around, and this allows him to go for Bug Bite, uh, which would have probably dealt critical damage to Vaporeon at that level, um, you saw how little the crit did overall, which means that, of course, I was in a 3-hit KO range, so I could have wished up there, I could have passed the wish off. There were a lot of things I could have done, but here, after my Venusaur goes down, I go out into my uh, Tornadus just to get the HP from Regenerator. I know something has to go down here, and I have, I can maybe lower the differential, maybe, but this this battle is over here for sure. I just go out into Metacham here. I definitely want to kill Caesar because this thing has been a pain in my butt. If I hadn't over predicted so much during this match, probably could have come out at, with, if not on top, but at least a little bit better if the crit was going to happen over Porion anyway. But um, with Mammal Swine in here, um, after the bullet punch damage, I can't take an ice shard, obviously. So we're gonna go down here. Tornadus actually has a chance of living an ice shard, which is pretty nice. But then I remember, oh yeah. Stealth Rocks are a thing. So Ice Shard's gonna come through once again and finish off Tornadus too. So that, all in all, I, that battle was just a little bit annoying for me because I definitely over predicted a lot. And then that really allowed Roshi to capitalize on a lot of those plays. So major props to him for, for picking up where I'm overextending a good bit. But definitely know, know that in the future, a reckoning will happen because that means our winning streak is broken uh, which is highly unfortunate we were doing so well there so now we are three and one and we'll have week five coming up here soon in the meantime thank you guys for watching this battle and i'll talk to you soon have a great day guys